Ladies and gentlemen, I decided a while back that if President Obama did something that I could commend or I could approve of, I would write about it or do a video about it or both. And uh, lo and behold, he managed to. Let me go back to the article here found on Yahoo. It says, uh, it quotes him as saying, we have everything we need to be that nation. Oh, I'm, I apologize here. I seem to have gotten ahead of myself. The future belongs to the a nation that best educates its citizens. We have everything we need to be that nation, and yet despite resources that are unmatched anywhere in the world, we have let our grades slip, our schools crumble, our teacher quality falls short, and other nations outpace us. He says this actually in conflict with most of his party and many of the people who voted for him. He acknowledged this, saying, Too many supporters of my party have resisted the idea of rewarding excellence in teaching with extra pay, even though we know it can make a difference in the classroom. What he's talking about there is uh, a system called merit pay, where a teacher can get a raise or a pay cut and even hired or fi fired based on their quality as a teacher. It completely negates most of the union policies that have been set up in this case uh, and gives these teachers unions the boot. And for the first time, and this completely startles me, for the first time we have a president in that is essentially telling unions to go bite themselves we're putting children first. Now, of course, modern politicians, I will never agree with everything they do. Um, let me go ahead and cover that right now. It is not federal responsibility to educate children. It is not federal responsibility to establish a curriculum, an education system, education pay, loans, grants, or scholarships. This is a responsibility of states and people. And if they're not doing it, we'll fail. The only way that the president can appropriately do this, or the Congress appropriately do this, is to submit for an amendment, a constitutional amendment, that grants them that power. Of course, I truly doubt that three-quarters of the states are willing to hand it over. The only reason they're putting it up with right now is they don't have the ability to stop it. Um, still, going back, he is right. We do need to break the idea that these teachers, these teachers are more important than the students that they're teaching. And a merit pay should be adopted by schools and by school districts. And any teacher that continuously, that repetitively fails, and I've had a couple, ought to get fired. Because these teachers are not only useless to the schools and therefore a waste of money, but they're actually dangerous to the students. Uh, teachers who lie, teachers who cover up, teachers who try to stifle the growth of the student in education. There are, are cases. And I've seen the letter from one. It wasn't any of my teachers. My teachers were a little bit smarter than that. There was one teacher that had sent a letter to uh, one of my friends when their child had questioned them in class. The teacher sent home a letter explaining the situation, saying the child was right or was correct on the information, however, has no right to correct him and that he needs to learn to respect authority as it is, unquestioningly. And it is that teacher that should have been fired. Most definitely should have been removed. He, so I, I commend the president on this, I do. And uh, in fact, I'd kind of like to shake his hand for finally standing up and telling unions to go, you know, bury their money elsewhere. So, 
Though, there is another thing, actually. I just noticed this. I didn't notice this before. Uh, the article says, uh, let me see, some of his promises are already in the works. Public schools will get an unprecedented amount of money from the eco economic stimulus bill over the next two years. Wow. To get some of these dollars, Obama and Duncan insist states will have to prove that they are making good progress in teacher quality on data systems to track how students learn and on standards and tests. Okay, uh, he's completely ruined it for me. As much as I agree that we need to pay them based on merit, I don't like the fact that we have to report to them all the time. And while I will still shake his hand for the funding portion, or for the uh, teacher pay, I would have to speak up about how he intends to enforce that and the fact that he actually does intend to enforce it. So, this was pretty long and drawn out today, but you get the point of where I'm coming from. I, I kind of wanted to do this because I myself have questioned a time or two whether or not I'm being partisan or whether I'm being partisan or if I'm actually just standing up for principle. And I have to think back every once in a while, wait, did I say this during the Bush administration? For the most part, I have never said anything different. There's been a couple of cases, but never on video. So, I hope you take a, take everything I say with a grain of salt, but also take it to heart. The president d is, did do something good the last few days, and I hope that his plan there succeeds. I hope that schools do adopt the merit pay, and teachers improve grad grandiously I would have to say so until next time study learn teach